at that point when he was at a high, how big was that shift of having it going and offense flowing and then all of a sudden that piece of going? Yeah, um, I mean, it's an unfortunate event, obviously. Um, I mean, I don't know what it is yet. You know, I haven't really got to talk to him, but you know, all we can do is hope he, you know, has a speedy recovery. Um, we're going to be behind him. We're going to hold it down while he's out, um, or if he's out, and we'll just take it from there. I think we're up seven late in the third, and it's going to slip a little bit, and they're going to make it a little push. Do you feel like more of you guys not executing on offense, or more of them maybe trying to turn up? A little bit of both. You know, you know, I always say I have to go back and, and look at it. Um, but yeah, we we had it flowing, you know, through the third quarter, and you know that that obviously changed. Look, I asked Monty about your ability to handle a lot of the point guard responsibilities, if need be. He said he thought it's a lot to give it all the minutes you play and everything you do. What do you feel about that? I mean, the playoffs is a lot. Um, a lot comes with this, so. You know, you just have to embrace it, you know, embrace the challenge, um, embrace the opportunity that we have right now, um, even down 0-2, um, get back home, protect our home court, and go from there. But, you know, a lot is on all of our plates, and that's everybody throughout the playoffs right now. Kevin, how would you, Kevin, how would you assess the quality of looks you got tonight? Uh, they were good looks, just didn't go down. Just as simple as that, bigger mismatch, what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wish could have knocked them down. Felt felt like they were good leaving my hands, but it is what it is. There is there a positive moving forward? I hope for this that you two shot the way you shot, and yet the game was still to be had. Did you gain anything from that? I mean, there's no moral victories around this time, so um, just gotta watch film, see how we can get better for Game Three, protect our home floor. Uh, yeah, slowed down Murray a bit. Um, he obviously had it going in the first game, and um, but Jokic was doing a little bit too much. Um, like I said, you know, so much happens. Um, I think we held was at 97 points total. You know, usually that's a that's a win for us if we can get our offense going. Well, how do you like the way you guys were using the second side? Yeah, it was imp- it was important. You know, they're loading up. Um, we throw it to the second side and just try to make a quick decision out of that. I'd have to go back and look at it. Um, yeah, I just have to go back. Kevin, when you look at this specifically with Murray, what do you think you guys specifically did with him that slowed him, that slowed him down? Well, I just played more physical and made him shoot tough shots over a hand. I think, um, you know, Josh and Toy did, did a good job of just making life tough for him. Uh, you know, we had 10 points, 3 for 15. That's a solid job one. Oh, I liked his energy tonight. He started the game off well. I think he got some foul trouble, which might have took him out the game a bit. But I like how he started. I like his energy. And uh, we're going to need to build on that going forward. Did you see him filling those lanes, book and transition for you guys? Yeah, um, and he was rewarded for a couple of them. Um, we should keep it going, you know, raise it even higher. What's the confidence level like heading back home? Obviously, they say a series doesn't start until road team. I love it. Um, you know, I just love playoff basketball. That's the first thing I said when I got in the locker room. Like, you, you just have to love this shit, embrace it. Um, you know, there's not many people that get the chance to do what we're doing, playing the highest level of basketball. So compete at the highest level. Don't forget to have fun with it. Um, and just get after it every time we get a chance. Kevin, did it feel like fatigue was kind of kicking in down the stretch there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, they made some shots there. I mean, we got some good looks too. I wouldn't blame it on fatigue. They did a good job 